Do you remember our shooting contests? I'm really sorry I didn't come to your dad's funeral. My father thought it would be too hard on me, considering everything that's happened this year. You have every right to be mad at me. You always do everything your father tells you to do. He's very protective of me. Oh, do you have that chessboard we used to play all the time? Of course. Let me go upstairs and get it for us. Well, I challenge you, so let the best man win. Found it! Grab a deck of cards, too, while you're up there. You still doing magic? Now more than ever, you'll see. How about karate? Are you still practicing? Of course. <laughs> we need uh, to talk, Adrian. What are you doing here? Hide. Mind if I take a shower? No, go ahead. Make yourself at home. What's up with that cousin of yours? First he searches through your things, and then, the most unforgivable thing of all, he squashes my hunk of goat's cheese under your pillow. I'd been maturing that baby for two weeks, do you realize? Two whole weeks! Listen, Plague. Felix lost his dad not so long ago. He's probably not himself. I'm sorry, but there's just no excuse. You never touched my cheese, and yet you lost your mother not so long ago, right? Uh, please forgive me, Adrian. I didn't mean to. I know. And I'm sorry about your cheese. Uh, why would Ladybug leave me a gift from Marinette? And with a heart embroidered on it? Oh, uh, well, it's obvious because Marinette asked her to. Or because Ladybug and Marinette are the same person. You're my friend, and I'd never want to lie to a friend. But why do you think it would be lying? Because there's this boy I... Me! No, 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 it doesn't make any sense. Marinette is Marinette and Ladybug is... Marinette! <laughs> okay, Adrian, this whole thing smells like rotten cheese. You know you aren't supposed to know each other's secret identities. Just because I know her secret identity doesn't mean she has to know about mine. Everything will be just fine. I promise. Adrian, putting a smelly piece of cheese in a box doesn't stop it from smelling. To ridicule a certain ambassador. <laughs> Black, you promised me you wouldn't go back there. Sorry, Sugar Q, but I can't resist such irresistible beauty. Here it sits every day, beckoning me with its gooey lusciousness. And every time I eat it, it just pops right back up the very next day. Don't you think it's strange that this gross, stinky thing just reappears in the same spot day after day? That's precisely why I call it the magic cheese. Ah, I've got you at last, strange creatures. This is exactly why you should always listen to me. Let's get out of here. Uh, 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 oh. And they speak too. I can't. It's impossible to abandon such a creamy, cozy robe to show. Whoa. Hey, what's going on? Stay focused on Moliere and his plays. Oh, go ahead and run away. I have proof of my great scientific discovery. You don't want me reading your little secrets, Marinette? I don't have any secrets from you, Tiki. You're the only one I can discuss my double life with. Even my parents or Alia don't know me as well as you do. I'm so happy to have you, Tiki. You're the only being I can really be myself with without ever having to lie. I'm really happy to have you, too. Good night, Tiki. Good night, Marinette. We must tell our owners or Master Fu the truth about what happened today. Chill out, Sugar Cube. Don't forget that nobody can capture or record us. I know that, but we were actually seen by a human and at school, too. That could jeopardize our owner's secret identities. Uh, okay, I promise you I won't eat any more magic cheese ever again. And really, what's the worst that could happen anyway? What you are about to witness is proof of the existence of interdimensional creatures with incredible powers who can move through matter and seem to be attracted to aged cheese. I discovered the first of these creatures soon after school began in September. I started observing it closely. Then I discovered a second one. I have proof. Watch closely. You can't see the creatures themselves because they're not filmable. But look right there. 
<laughs> Given that I was unable to capture these creatures on video, I've made sketches of them to give you an idea of what they look like. What's that even supposed to be? I seriously doubt this show is remotely scientific whatsoever. Mrs. Mandalaya, are you serious about actually chasing cheese-eating ghosts? I'm always serious. You could have been captured. That was so irresponsible of you. Please, it's impossible to capture a Kwame. May I remind you that we can move through matter and we can't be filmed or photographed? You're as much of a party pooper as Sugar Cube. Sugar Cube? Who's Sugar Cube? A tiki, ladybugs, Kwame. Ooh, ooh. Wait a second. If Tiki was there too, that means she was here at school, which means Ladybug is a student at Francois Dupont, just like me, which means I probably know Ladybug already. Uh oh, uh oh. You finally got yourself a girlfriend, and not just any girlfriend, the daughter of the best baker in Paris. Marinette in love with Cat Noir. I didn't think he was her type. Before you know it, we'll be enjoying some warm and crispy bread to go with every piece of cheese. Our life is about to change. Stop it, Plague. You know I'm in love with Ladybug. So? I don't see the problem in keeping two pots simmering on the stove. Especially when there's actually only one pot. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be honest with Marinette. I'll go over there for brunch, but only to tell her the truth. Are you kidding? At least please wait until after the cheese platter is served. <sighs> Delicious bread, here we come! I told you, Plag, we're not having brunch there. I'm only gonna tell Marinette that she's not the one I love, then we'll leave. Aww. She's gonna be so sad. How could I make this easier on her? You're right, breaking her heart with flowers will be much more romantic. Hey, why the long face? My mom used to have dizzy spells, just like Natalie. My father said those weren't serious either. Hmm. How about a duet? You play the piano? My talents go way beyond sniffing out cheese, young man. Mom's the only one who could make me laugh like that. Thank you, Plaque. Mm -hmm. But we will hang out soon. You're my number one fan, after all. But my father never lets me hang out. I never have friends over, either. Seriously? You never have friends over? Mm -mm. That's harsh. One of these days, I'm gonna come over and change your dad's mind, and we'll have a rockin' good time. For real! My father doesn't change his mind very easily, but I appreciate the thought. Okay, gotta go finish my homework before the shoot. See you, William. Bye, Adrian! Why don't you make the most of your father being out of town? Have some friends over and live it up a little. You know my father has very high expectations of me. I can't go behind his back like that. Besides, even if I wanted to live it up a little, my bodyguard's keeping an eye on me and making sure I stay in line. That's okay, you've got me! And our endless supply of cheese, that'll make anyone happy. 